Recently, uh, National Wildlife Federation took a plane flight out of New Orleans with South Wings and uh, out to the Chandelier Sound and just kind of check out the coast and see what everything looks like out there. We were hoping that we wouldn't see much, uh, you know, because of media reports and what we've been hearing, but we were really shocked and very disappointed to uh, see basically a sea of red in the Chandelier Sound. There was discolored water for miles as far as the eye could see and the pilot that we flew with uh, from South Wings who does these flights regularly uh, was helping us to interpret what we were seeing from a new perspective and he w felt fairly certain that it was oil. So our team went out um, and we had two scientists with us and uh, we took uh, benthic samples from the bottom. Um, we took samples at different levels in the water column. As soon as we got back, we took the samples to Louisiana State University. They determined that it's a non-toxic dinoflagellate. So we probably weren't seeing oil out there. We were seeing algae. And some of the scientists are telling us that because there's um, so much in the water right now. This area has been oiled repeatedly. Um, there's been, you know, dispersants uh, in the water. It's hard to exactly pinpoint why we're seeing this bloom, why we're seeing the bloom of this size. Um, and the scientists are still um, sharing the information that we found and passing it around to their colleagues and still analyzing and determining what exactly we found out there. Unfortunately, uh, you know, you see a massive algal bloom and it's got this reddish tint to it and all, everybody will assume that you're seeing some massive oil slick out there, which is, uh, you know, it's just a sad condition and it's just reality right now for people of the Gulf Coast. You know, the ecosystem is very stressed, so it's important for, for us to be able to uh, dig into what exactly is going on. I think that's a really important role that National Wildlife Federation is playing. We're still as committed to when the well first blew, um, of being out there on you know several days a week, making sure that we're taking experts out with us and figuring out uh, what exactly is going on with the ecosystem and along the coast.